Okay, on this episode of I'll Go First, we're gonna cover on how to fly a drone. I'm super pumped because I'm getting a drone. I'm getting the Mavic Pro from DJI. But before I go and get that, then I decided to get a practice drone. And so this is the practice drone that I got. Um, I'll put a link in the description of what it is. It's, I got it off Amazon, it's about $42. And as I started looking around online to see what it would take to learn how to fly a drone, they all recommended that you get an inexpensive one to practice on before you get your really expensive one. Now the DJI drones, I basically fly themselves, but it would be really bad to have the controls or the sensors go out on the DJI and not be able to, how, not to, be able to know how to manually fly the drone. So I decided to learn how to do it manually. So I looked up a lot of different things online, watched some YouTube videos, love YouTube, and um, I watched a lot of good ones on myfirstdrone.com and uavcoach.com. They got some great videos and things. But I'll go over what it is and then we'll try to fly it. So here's the controller, and as you can see, it's got a uh, right joystick and a left joystick. And the right joystick, when you push right and left, it controls the roll of the aircraft. When you go forward and backwards, it controls the pitch of the aircraft. Then this left joystick, when you go down, that's the acceleration or throttle down. And when you go up, that's acceleration or throttle up. And then when you go left and right, that controls the yaw of the aircraft, um, right and left accordingly. So here's the quadcopter drone. And there is a front and back to these, and that's really important to know. Um, there is gonna be lighting on all of them. And so here's the two green sections. That's the back side of the drone. And then this bottom part here, this is the red section, so that's the front part of the drone. So if I hold it like this, then that means this is where the back of the drone is facing you, the green lights, and that's as if you were flying in the drone with it looking forward. So the roll of this is when you roll it this way, and that's the right joystick when you're pushing it right or left. And as you roll right, it'll push right, and when you go left, it'll push left, okay? Then on the right joystick, if you push forward or backward, then that's the pitch, which is this direction. So if I push forward, it'll pitch this way and go forward. If I pull back on the right joystick, it'll pitch back and it'll fly backwards. The left joystick is the throttle. So if I go up, it'll fly up. If I push back on the throttle stick, it'll go down. And then if I go right or left on the left joystick, then that's the yaw, which is basically turning the aircraft. So it's in plane, but turning it, right? So if I go right, it'll turn right as if I'm going to a three o'clock position in the clock. And if I turn it left, it'll rotate left as if I'm going to the nine o'clock position on a clock. So that's the brief rundown. I won't go into a lot more because there's a lot of good videos out there, but that's your basic, basic rundown and that's what I learned on uh, the videos online. The thing that they tell you you wanna do is basically start simple by just taking off straight up and just trying to keep it hovering. As you get wind and things, it's gonna push it around, so you have to counteract that. And so you just gotta work on hovering and then landing. Then you wanna work on just pick flying, moving over to a spot and landing again. Then slowly work on moving side to side, forward and backwards and all that. And all that to where the back of the drone is facing towards you. Then the next level up is that you're gonna turn the drone so that it's sideways and flying sideways and get used to controlling it that way because the controls are different. Then a little more difficult is turning the drone to where it's faced towards you and at that point, then the controls are gonna be backwards to you because it's acting like it's flying towards you. So when you want it to go left, you'd have to turn right on the joystick, right? So everything is, is in reverse. And then the ultimate is doing banking turns. So uh, you're gonna use all four controls to do a banking turn of the drone. And so the ultimate of that is doing like a figure eight pattern in one direction and then going in the other direction. So. That's what I have to work on for about the next month or so until I get my uh, expensive DJ Mavic Pro drone. That's the research that I've done. Now, let's get to the activity and see how it works. They tell you that when anytime you dry it, fly the drone, you wanna make sure you're away from any buildings or trees or anything like that or human beings or anything. So we're gonna go out in the middle of the street, but you gotta make sure, when you're, especially when you're learning how to fly the drone, that you stay away from anything that could hurt anybody or the drone, so. All right, here we go. Stay back here. He's got an audience. Yeah. See what happens. Bad for the 
first try, huh? We didn't hurt anybody. It's definitely getting pushed this way. All right, you guys ready? Okay, scoot back. All right, well, I didn't hurt anybody. I didn't break anything, but it's definitely gonna take some getting used to. The throttle is definitely harder than it looks to get it to, to go and stay constant. Gives you a lot of respect for helicopter pilots. Uh, a lot of the videos I watched online said you want to try practicing on making it hover about eye level. Yeah. Well, we'll keep practicing. What's your name? Kalilea. I'm me. I'm Kalilea. You're with the. Can you say Trenton? Yeah. Alright, a debrief on learning how to fly the drone. Um, in short, it basically was as I described. The controls were what I thought they would be. And I think overall it's been a really good experience to see what it's like to fly a drone that doesn't have any correctional capabilities in it. Like I mentioned earlier, the expensive drones, like the DJI drones, they've got a lot of sensors in them, a lot of processors on them, so they do a lot of in-flight autocorrecting. I've seen some amazing videos online where the drone basically just hovers exactly where it's at, has GPS and, and all those things. And so I think they're probably a lot easier to fly. But I think it was a good idea to get a drone that doesn't have all those features on it to see what it feels like to have the wind pushing it around and trying to have to counteract that just in case you ever did have the expensive drone where the, the auto controls went out on it. So I think it's been a good purchase. It's a good way to practice flying a drone and I think it'll be good fun. So I recommend it. And I think anybody who's serious about being a drone pilot for anything long term, it'd be a good thing to do to really practice it to see what it's like. Alrighty, well, thanks for watching. Subscribe below if you'd like this all go first. And leave some comments on what things you would like me to do for the first time to let you know what works well, what doesn't work well, and what I do different the next time. Alrighty, thanks, see you in the next video.